Hey everyone, my name is Justin Anchetta with SF Garnish Music Production. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to be walking you through some basics of the X32 rack with OBS. Um, some troubleshooting in regard to getting OBS to read the outputs specifically because OBS only reads 2, 1, and 2. And um, how do you get it to read all the channels of your X32 rack. So I'm gonna go into some of the settings here. What I have on the screen is the X32 edit function. And I did a hard reset of everything. So it's pretty basic with the factory resets. Um, and then from this setting here, I've already done this once, so it might already have this updated. I'm gonna bring this down here so you can see it. So you go into routing. All right, and now this is your input routing. You're still getting channels from one through eight and nine through 16 locally, right? Um, if you have an ex expansion, you can do the next ones over here for your next channels, which actually would be like that. Um, but we're just doing one through 16 at the moment. That's enough channels for us. Um, we're gonna go into card, right? So your card output, is normally set to local one through eight. And instead of being local one through eight, let me bring this down here so you can see it. So we were in inputs, now card, and we're gonna change local one through eight all the way over here to out one through eight. Okay, so this means that the channel one, two out is going to be read accordingly. And now the reason why we're gonna do that is right here, instead of this being mixed bus, right here, okay? Your mix bus one and two, which is what we just told um, the card to read, we want that to be the main left right. This means that all of the effects that you send to the mains will be recorded with OBS. That's gonna be very important. Now, one other thing that I did is that my monitors, which I just changed over here, um, I don't want to put these on the same thing because I want my monitors to have its own functionality. So I brought these over to these channels that are open, one and two, and I'm using uh, mix bus one and two, my bus sends one, two, to control my monitors in my room, left, right here. And then what I have is my headphones. Sometimes when I want to turn my monitors off and just have my headphones in, I assigned basic, the five and six right here, I've assigned that. So that's on a, on a future uh, setup. The main thing that I'm trying to do today is make sure that my OBS is hearing all of my recorded channels. And the setting right here is bringing Mixbus one, two over to left, right. And your card is card out. The source is the, is one through eight outputs one through eight matching over here. All right, if you do that, you're gonna be a lot closer to streaming. So as you can see, I'm talking on this microphone right here. This is the mic that's plugged in to channel one and it's being picked up right there. One last setting that I wanna do in OBS is go into my audio and make sure that it's being set up to read X USB. That's coming now from my X32 rack, the X16 rack, I guess you'd call it that, without the expansion. Um, and then audio advance settings, I'm gonna go in right here, click on advance audio properties, and make sure that these are set to mono. 
And the reason for that is that your left and right is one and two. And my microphone, I'll bring it right here, my microphone right here is in channel one. So if I don't make it mono, it'll only come into the left speaker, right? So when you make it mono, it'll actually bring it to one and two. And anything else that you bring in through your rack will now come in through both channels, left and right. It is making it mono, so if you do have panning involved, the OBS will not be reading that, but at least you'll get both signals. So the panning of a mix will not be happening. Um, all right, I hope that was helpful. And if you want to support what we're doing, please like and subscribe to our page. We're doing audio and video workshops, webinars year round and in person at our boutique North Oakland Music Studio, Soul Graffiti Studios. And our websites are soulgraffiti.info and sf.garnishmusicproduction.com. Have a great rest of your day.